No Angel, no problem for Chicago, as they got a big win today over Dallas, whose season is looking like it is very much doomed. In this video, we will look at the impact of Angel Reese's injury and what it might have, as well why it's looking like Washington made the right pick in choosing Aaliyah Edwards at number six versus choosing Angel Reese, who was ultimately selected at number seven by Chicago. But before we start, if you enjoy the content, then please consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel. All right, let's get into this. So Angel Reese has done a wrist injury during their game at home versus the Sparks. There were, She had a few falls. There was one, I believe, in the third quarter and one in the fourth quarter. It is her left wrist. No word on what the wrist injury is. I'm wondering if she fractured her scaphoid. That is a little bone in your wrist that you tend to fracture if you land with an outstretched hand. And with that injury, they tend to be very, very cautious as it can be difficult to heal as it doesn't have a great blood supply. If you miss the injury initially, it can go necrotic and can get really, really nasty. Like sometimes I have to go in and put a pin in there if you don't catch it early. If you get on it early, get it in a cast, they tend to heal well and it's not a big issue. Hopefully that's what she's done or whatever it is. Hopefully it's not too serious. But with this injury, obviously it was next woman up and that woman was Isabella Harrison who had a great game. She went for 21 points on 9 of 18 shooting. Yes, that's 50% from the floor. 3 from 3 from the free throw line. 9 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, 1 block and only 1 turnover. And of course, now the narrative is going to start are the Chicago Sky better with Angel Reese out of the lineup? And this really sets Chicago up for a no-win scenario if you like because if they win a bunch of games going out to the end of the season and make the playoffs then it helps reinforce that narrative that Angel Reese better off without her but on the other hand if they lose games and wind up falling into the lottery, well, Reese was valuable, but they're in the lottery and Dallas owns the swap rights to their pick. And it's unlikely that that pick would be the first pick as it only has a 10% chance, but there is a chance and there would be nothing worse than landing the number one pick or number two pick and having to swap that out with Dallas. That would be the final blow of the crushing Marina Mabry trade that James Wade made. But regardless, Regardless of what happens, I think everyone, I think even Reese fans would agree that she needs to develop her game. I believe she said this herself, that she hopes to be a stretch four, and that is just not there right now. And what I initially said when Chicago drafted Reese and Cardoso, I just didn't see how it was going to work because they both have inside games. And there is no doubt that Reese is a beast on the boards. Obviously, she is, as she's averaging 13 rebounds per game in addition to 13 points, but the 13 points are so inefficient. Shooting 39% is not going to get it done. Or should I say, it's not going to get it done for the Chicago Sky as they have Camilo Cardoso, and it just gets too stuffed up inside. There's too much traffic, and they need to stretch the floor. And Harrison wasn't spectacular in this game shooting the ball. In this game, she only had three made shots outside the key, but the key thing was is that she was willing to take shots outside, as overall she had seven shots taken outside of the key. Now, Angel Reese, since they've returned from the Olympics, she has only made seven shots from outside of the key. And that is not going to get it done when you're paired with Camilo Cardoso. That is why one of the mistakes they made, I keep on saying, is they did not bring back Alana Smith or give her a big enough contract to entice her to come back as she was able to sign with the Lynx for 150 k And that has been the biggest bargain. If they had Alana Smith with Angel Reese and Cardoso, then you would have a three-headed monster with Smith providing the outside game and then Cardoso and Reese the inside game. And it would be a beautiful thing being able to rotate Reese and Cardoso. If there was a mismatch that was killing Cardoso, then you could get Reese out on the floor who can go guard one through five and, and you could just alternate them up and together that would would have been really good. I can't fault them too much for missing out on Alana Smith as all the other teams were. It's just highway robbery. The Lynx got her to sign at 150. Now with Angel Reese the question is where from here 
Hopefully she gets out of her cast soon and is able to work on her shot. That will be the thing. Will she be able to improve her shot and develop her all-around game? Since coming back in August, she has not been good, or at least over the month of August, that was her worst month in the WNBA as she shot her lowest percentage at 33% from the floor. Now, was this a case the WNBA has caught up to her and they've scouted her and just said, don't let her get to the basket. Make sure you always have a body on her or not. Angel Reese supporters would argue well. September was starting to look pretty good. In three games, she was shooting 44% from the floor. But three games really isn't a large sample, and I think everybody would agree. She needs to put the work in and see what her game looks like next year. Now, the expert commentator Shimmy Miller on the Chicago Sky broadcast She's often comparing Angel Reese to Derricka Hamby and her development. I think that's a fair comp. So Hamby, her effective field goal shooting percentage in her first season was 36%. And then the next year, 427 and just gradually inched its way up to 463, and then she was over 50% effective field goal shooting percentage shooter by her fourth year in the WNBA. I do think Angel Reese's rebounding is obviously spectacular, and she has a way of using both hands to get her shot off. I think she has really good potential to be good around the rim. With that being said, I still think the Washington Mystics made the right pick in choosing Aaliyah Edwards number six, as I would prefer Aaliyah Edwards seven points and 5.6 rebounds per game over Angel Reese's 13 and 13, just because it's so much more efficient. I think that inefficiency really hurts. When you prorate their numbers, both Edwards and Angel Reese over 40 minutes, Angel Reese averages 16.7 points per game and 16.2 rebounds. Aaliyah Edwards is 13.7 points per game and 10 rebounds per game. I'd much prefer that. As Edwards' efficient field goal shooting percentage is 48.7% versus Reese, who is 39.5%. Now, Isabella Harrison going off in this game was a bit of a full circle moment. As Chicago got her her from Dallas as a free agent. She was unrestricted free agent in 2022. And when she came to Chicago, she got injured her first year. And this is her first year really having an impact. In the 2022 season, Vicki Johnson was the coach and she had a falling out as her her playing time suffered during the season and got restricted and she wasn't real happy about it. But during their series with Connecticut in the playoffs, after the Wings had lost the first game, from memory, they put her in the starting lineup and put McCowan on the bench. And that was a good move as they got the win in Connecticut. They were set up to get the to clinch at home in Dallas, but Harrison got injured early in that game and it was over pretty much early on. I think Arike was coming back, a sports hernia and yeah, they went down to the sun. And then after that, she's just had a nightmare last year with injuries and is still, you know, come back from that knee injury. And, you know, it's good for her. So now over to you. Does Angel Reese being out help or hurt Chicago's chances to make the playoffs? Did the Mystics and the other five teams ahead of them make the right choice in choosing other players over Angel Reese? Your comments, your poison, it's all welcome. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good night.